This is Team Philip G, and we are back. That's right, we are back. This is Team Philip G and the Shadow Podcast Show. Shadow Podcast Show, and we are officially back. Welcome to folks, Shadow. Sure. Thank you, Shadow. We are back for show number, I forget which show this is. Oh my God. We've done so many shows, I forgot. But this is show entitled After Earth. That's right. Uh, this is show uh, entitled uh, After Earth. Uh, hopefully, uh, this uh, podcast and webcast will be recorded correctly. I think we got everything moving up. After Earth. Oh, now you're probably, well, and we are still doing sci fi, obviously. And After Earth is one of those classic. Wait, what? That's right, classic. Oh, sci-fi, American sci-fi adventure film. And the reason why I say class, a classic bomb, that is. Does that, that doesn't make any sense. A classic bomb. Uh, that is a, a, a show, I mean a movie, a movie uh, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. He's your favorite director, correct? Oh, yeah. At least, I can, he, at least he makes movies that I can laugh at. Yeah, which he co-wrote uh, with <laughs> with Gary uh, Witta, based on original story, ideal by the actor Will Smith. Okay, <laughs> that tells you something right there. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> yes, and it's Will Smith and his son Jaden Smith who star in After Earth, this 2013 film, and this film received. Uh, Oh, oh, I'm not going to tell you what it received, but it's a 2013 Wait, sci-fi yes. film. I'm going to give you a synopsis real fast because we got to get right into our critique of the movie. The plot basically is in the 21st century, an environmental catalyst forces the human race to abandon Earth and settle in a new world. Nova Prime. 1,000 years later, the Range Corps, uh, a peacekeeping organization commanded by yours truly, Will Smith, uh, General Cypher Range, whatever his name is, comes into conflict with the Skrill alien creatures who intended to conquer Nova Prime. Well, in this flight uh, going somewhere, uh, <laughs> uh, their spaceship is caught by an asteroid shower, forcing them to crash land, crash land on the now quarantined Earth uh, near what was uh, Central America. <laughs> so, but in the crash, uh, Will Smith's legs uh, were broken and the main emergency rescue be beacon uh, damaged. Cypher instructs his son, uh, Katai, is it Katai? Oh, no. Katai to locate the tail section of the ship and then basically Katai had to go and venture onto this new Earth and therein go there and sets the plot in motion. Well, I mean, oh. I can explain what happened. That's just the setup, and now Shadow is going to go in course greater detail. So go in greater detail about this sci-fi classic. Don't give it that much respect. Don't give it that much respect. But when it comes down to it, okay. There's Will Smith, right? He was fighting a bunch of aliens. And of course, he has no fear. Since the aliens use fear to find people, I think. And so he had no fear. And so he had no fear. <laughs> Which, like, he fought the aliens for a thousand years. I mean, that's what it says in the... That's what's, that's what's in the plot, so, you know. And then he had a son named Will Smith. I mean, not Will Smith, Jaden Smith, and basically they were transporting an, an Ursa, which is the type of um creature that like killed off like a lot of the humans, and they were transporting it somewhere, and then they got hit by something conveniently. Asteroid shower. And they crash landed on Earth, and now they have to like stop the Earth uh, from like killing them, and also have to get the emergency beacon up. Okay, we got you. It, keep going. For what? Let's critique it now. 
We wanted, we've been talking, you've been talking about Earth or After Earth for quite some time. Now we're into the show. We set up the plot. Tell me why it's such a difficult movie to comprehend. The plot's confusing. They all sound weird the way they talk. They have like some weird accent of which like M. Night Shyamalan forced them to talk. And so it just sounds weird. And also, okay. Also, the plot is very unclear because it sounds like like it was like a picture of Will Smith fighting these creatures for like a thousand years, which didn't make any sense. Because I mean, no, no human, no human should live that long. I mean, unless Will Smith has like right the power to like change the story and the plot, which wow, I did not, I underestimated him. But also, like, there's like this one running scene when like everyone was like running like this, and like you know like how he's supposed to normally run, but like Jane Smith was like, <sighs> and it was like he he ran so weird and like out of place. I mean, the entire like everything about the movie is weird and out of place. So. Okay. What else? <laughs> um, what else? There's like this one scene, like when, once they got like, like Will Smith had to like get strapped into his seat. I mean, like Will Smith was gonna get his him strapped into the seat. Then then like the like airlocks broke and like most of the, like all the crew went that way. Jane Jane was like trapped in like his like his seat belt. And Will Smith flew the other way, which didn't make any sense because there's no holes that way. So I guess Will Smith just somehow defied physics. And yeah. Okay. Anything else? I mean, the plot was boring. I mean, the story was boring. And like, pretty much like, I, I had a hard time comprehending the movie because it was just so confusing and everything was so poorly explained. Like how like he like how the Ursas like feed off of fear and like how the Ursas like do this and like like they're just left there by some alien species. It's like yep, kill the humans, but I guess the alien species didn't think that the humans could have just kill the Ursas. But whatever. Okay. What else? <laughs> I'm not a wellspring of infinite knowledge in the movie. My my picture for this movie is vague at best. Okay. What else? That was not a criticism. I'm just saying that I don't remember this movie perfectly. Well, anyway, that was great. That was great synopsis, great analysis. As a matter of fact, uh, FX, the channel FX, uh, recently showed uh, After Earth on TV, and that's where I uh, saw the plot and saw the movie. And I said, this is a classic bomb. Uh, a matter of fact, uh, and I totally agree with Shadow, uh, when I saw Will Smith, where he was, the, the spaceship crashed, and the, you're talking about the running scene, all of the running scene by Jaden Smith, you saw all the CGI into effect. I mean, it was mega CGI, quite frankly. And they, whatever they thought of along the way to come after uh, Jaden, they had the, uh, what it was, the baboons run after him. They had the tigers run after him. They had every living known creature creature run after Jane Smith and somehow, somehow he gets away each and every time. I said, what is this? And so it was uh, kind of, uh, and then uh, Will Smith was talking to Jane uh, through their uh, device, intercom or whatever they had uh, connected, uh, the suit that they had connected. And it was just one uh, amazing set of dialogue and action, so-called action shots Again and again and again. And by the end, oh yeah, Jaden, uh, when he was out there running, he didn't tell his father that he was running short on oxygen. And by the end, uh, he took a chance and said, I'm going to do this regardless if I didn't have enough oxygen or device to help me get through this last major hurdle. And uh, that's when uh, little Jaden <laughs> took it upon himself to leap, uh, to, to jump and actually fly. All of a sudden, he was flying. He jumped off of this cliff and he spread his 
magical suit in the air, and he was flying, and there was a hawk, there was a hawk, there was an eagle after him. He out flew the eagle in the air. I said, what the heck is going on? So you, he, he did everything. He was running, he was flying, he, he out flew, and then they, uh, uh, all of a sudden, uh, he went through this water, and guess what happened at the uh, this one particular scene? The eagle somehow must have captured uh, Jaden, and he was in the nest of the eagle <laughs> with the other egg, eggs of the eagle. I said, what? What happened? Oh, my God. That's when I tuned out. <laughs> I had enough at that time. <laughs> what do you think about that scene, uh, Shadow? The CGI is poorly done, and it's very confusing. Exactly. It was very confusing. I didn't know what was going to happen next. I guess he won. Uh, the the uh, M. Night Shalini was just thinking of stuff along the way, what he could uh, possibly go through and overcome. But by then, I'm pretty sure he lost the entire audience. And dare I say, there wasn't much good acting in it throughout. It was pretty hard to put the entire acting scene on little Jaden, who was had a lot of close-up shots. And it was one thing after another. It wasn't much dialogue other than Will Smith saying, run. <laughs> That's all he was saying. Run! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Jump! <laughs> that wasn't much acting. That wasn't much dialogue, to say the least. <laughs> the thing is, like, like um, Will just keeps wanting to put his son out there. And it's just like, he's just a 14-year-old. Boy, he he doesn't need this much exposure. It's nice that you're trying to do this, but what about your other family members? Whatever happened to Troy Smith? Yeah, well, you know, but uh, that basically was the plot. Uh, he thought about it. He wanted to get his son the exposure, uh, big time exposure, and unfortunately, uh, the movie didn't do too well. As a matter of fact, uh, here's some of the criticism. The film received negative reviews from critics, with the major criticism over Jaden Smith's. Uh, performance as well as the self contradictory uh, uh, contradic contradictory, contradictory. Uh, no, I'm going to say that script, bad pacing, numerous inconsistencies, and plot holes. The film underperformed at the box office. Bottom line. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, there will not be an After Earth 2. Do you, have you ever heard of anything? Uh, Shadow. I might have, but it could just be rumor, rumors. Mm, yeah, I hope it is a rumor. I mean, but but you never know with all the uh, extra money that you know flying around in Hollywood. Uh, I'm sure, and particularly the extra time that Will Smith has because he's not getting too many acting jobs, he'll probably influence the big wigs in Hollywood to follow up with After Earth Two. Can you believe it? That's Hollywood. That's movie making in its fullest. What else do you have to say about After Earth Shadow? The way you move your mouth is like kind of weird to me. <laughs> no offense. That's fine with me. And uh, let's talk about After Earth. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just... Like, what can I say from this movie that just make, makes me laugh? Because I never know what's going on. The plot's just confusing. The characters are just poorly explained. And apparently, he had a sister that died to an Ursa. And, like, it, it was never fully explained. It just, like, the Ursa just came into the house, killed the sister. And then, like, ran away once, like, Will Smith, like, just came out of nowhere. Very good. Any lasting impressions you want to leave the folks with about After Earth? Any lasting suggestions? M. Night Shyamalan is the greatest director of all time. There you go! You heard it. M. Night, uh, he's, he hasn't been around a, a little bit uh, in the in the latest with his blockbusters. He's he's trying to make a comeback, and I'm pretty sure I'm it's going gonna, gonna to take a little bit longer, and he needs to... Find his space from the big Hollywood executives and the insiders, so-called insiders in Hollywood. So there you go. That is T. Philip G. and Shadow Podcast Show, the review of After Earth, starring Will Smith and Jaden Smith. And hopefully we will not see a sequel 
of After Earth. And by the way, if you want to give us your opinion about After Earth, please, please send us a email, respond to our email, respond to our YouTube video, respond to our podcast, because we definitely want your feedback on our podcast show. So please send us your response, send us an email, or like us on Facebook, because we're going to come back with another, with another T. Philip G. and Shadow Podcast Show. So this is our show on After Earth, and we are signing out right now. Anything you have to say, Shadow? I'm running out of oxygen. Oh, wait, I have an extra pack of oxygen. Continuity error. There you go. Thank you very much, Shadow, and we will see you next time on the Team Philip G and Shadow Podcast Show. We're out!